Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tin Man's Corner channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor, and today, like I told you guys in the Man in the Blue Suit video, I'll be reacting to uh, Kip Behind the Camera's little vlog that came out after that video on his channel. And it's titled, Grandpa's Paranormal Experience. So, basically he pretty much says that, you know, they just got done filming that video so if you haven't watched it watch that one first basically so if you haven't seen my reaction to that video go watch that one first and then watch this reaction okay so without further ado let's get into this reaction shall we so the, the silver doll was real huh the silver doll was real yeah and how long did you have it for until somebody stole out that pack because I gave it to my dad. You remember when your granddaddy died? Your grandma died? Okay, I know exactly. You gave me that bag of money, that silver dollar that was in there. So, if you don't know what we're referring to right now, referring to right now go check out Grandpa's channel. He just told a story about... Oh, there you go. Once he starts talking, the motorcyclist had to be rude and rev up their exhaust. <laughs> My amigo put my foot over there, little bastards. He told the story about the time what he would describe as a ghost gave him... He didn't look like no ghost to me. He looked real. I mean, a person who's been dead <coughs> gave him a silver dollar. Now, I just asked him what he did with it. What he, now, it an 18, 1842 silver dollar. I remember seeing the silver dollar. Yeah, because Grandma had it. Uh, Dad used to have in the old house. We don't know what happened in the money. We think it was stolen by somebody in the family. That's all we're going to say. We're not going to say names. Somebody in the family stole it. We're not sure exactly who, but we have a good idea. It was a it was a bunch of money. It was like a, for he had like a bag of like nickel pennies and silver dollars. Oh, my daddy and he, my grandma had them. My mama had them. And then when she died, I got them. And hmm. they were stolen. So... Man, I wish I had a bag of silver dollars. You never know how much them things will be worth now. The silver dollar that the man gave you was in that. Yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. crazy. But yeah, that was... But to, but to pick his picture out of it, out of a photograph book, yeah, that's the man I, that, that gave me the silver dollar. He'd been dead for 10 years. I know, that'd be creepy. <laughs> and that I wasn't the only little boy that he'd given a really? dollar to. Well, that is quite insane. I got a lot of stories like that, Mike, that happened when I was coming up. You grew up in a weird time, and you were in the crazy rural part of South Carolina. A lot of shit happened. A lot of shit happened back in them old days. Hmm. Remember me tell you about my trip to Alice's grave on that one night? You went to Alice's grave? Sure did. Lost the ring, too. You did not. I'll bet you money, buddy. I'll bet you, you win? Money. You I'll bet not. you goddamn money in a minute. Yeah. I'll bet you. <laughs> uh... Angry Grandpa never even told that story, I don't think, uh, on a video. I tried looking it up, and I don't think it was no video ever made with that story. But that would have been neat to hear. I'll bet you. Let's go. The Hermitage. Let's go do that. I'll tell you about that. Remember tell me that time when saw the light? When the light came across your car, you your car and you would die. These are all South Carolina urban legends. That I've seen. This one he's referring to is Alice of the Hermitage. I heard of her. The yeah. story is that she was dating a man that her family didn't approve, a very Romeo and Juliet-ish, and he proposed to her, and I think he was, what, did he get killed or something? No, no. The daddy, daddy ran him off. But he had to have died, didn't he? No, he didn't die. The but dad, she killed herself. Right, because the dad told her that he that the man... Uh, they took, I know, they took the ring and they chucked it into like a rake, a lake or something. Oh, no, they chucked it out in the field. And... And then they buried her in that same area. And they say that her soul is still searching for the ring. She goes from the church to the graveyard. And now they've got a big fence around her grave now. Because if, if you had a wedding ring on, you touch her grave, the ring would disappear. I, that I, happened. I've heard lots of people say that. I happened. had a ring. There were a bunch of us. And we gone. I heard saying you had to circle it or something. I said you would have felt it if it fell off your hand like that. Let's look. But, unless, you know, the ghost was able to grab onto it without being seen, of course, and then, you know, made it visible. And I, I don't know how to explain it, folks, but that, that, that would probably stump me. 
Hmm. And now, and now they got a they got a fence around her grave that nobody can get to it. So you've been to the hmm. Hermitage. Yep. That is sick. I've been there, done that. Then I'll tell you about some of the light. Which is right down the street here, right next to the interstate. Why don't we go do that? Because you can't get back there no more. They got all that shit over with. This has got houses there now. Not to you tomorrow night. <laughs> no, you will not. You're going to tell okay, me now. This is a story tomorrow night about the summer of your life. Good night, Mike. You're going to tell me tonight. <laughs> he said tomorrow night. Hey. Hey, I want to hear this. Would you go home? I want to hear this. <laughs> you got me tomorrow night, Mike. You got me, you got me on the sinker. sinker. Tomorrow night. Good night, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, he got me on the sinker. <laughs> All right, that was my reaction to Grandpa's paranormal experience on Kid Behind the Cameras channel. And uh, like he said, Angle Grandpa went through a lot of stuff back in the old days. <laughs> and hearing the stories that he did before. I listened to before that won't paranormal related and yeah I agree with Michael on that but anyway uh, that's gonna be it for now don't forget to like subscribe turn on those post notifications and I think the next time I react to a video on grandpa's corner I might react to that Somerville light um, story that'll be the next one and then the, uh, and uh, Michael made a video on his channel after that one they uh, made together they went back inside and talked about uh, the Prowler. So I'll be reacting to those two as well. So I hope you guys stay tuned for those and have a nice day, buddy.